Actually, the 80s opened with us shooting an officer and a gentleman uh, up in Port Townsend, Washington. And um, it, you know, you don't know when you're making a movie whether it's going to be a hit or not. You just know who you hang out with. And I hung out a lot, a lot with David Caruso at the time he was in the movie, and we, we cut up and had fun together. Everybody wants to know if I really swallowed the ring. And I did. They had a piece that, you know that invisible wire they use in movies? They just had one of those tied to it, and I'd swallow it, pull it up out of my stomach. I had to shoot it over and over again. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I don't think so. That just kind of shocked me. They actually, they didn't make you do that. No, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Like, there's no way. Yeah, I, I try that on everybody. It works a lot. Do you tell people that? Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Just like that. Yeah. And, and, and that's the reaction that I hope for, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> so we shot it in, in 80 and uh, didn't come out until 82. And by the time it came out, I was actually in London shooting the Lords of Discipline. And so it's, it's been out for, officer had been out for a month. And I'd been hobbing, hanging out with the Rolling Stones and people like that in Europe and having a great time and, and um, traveling around. Going, I'd, every weekend I'd go to a different country and uh, just for a couple of days by myself and just check it out. And, and um, I came back home and I couldn't go in a restaurant. Everything in the restaurant would stop. Everybody would be staring at me. They'd stop eating and I'd have to sign napkins and things like that. And uh, I remember I went into one nightclub, I think it was in Charleston. And it was like one o'clock in the morning. And they, they announced that I was there and turned on the lights and stopped the music. And I had to sign like a million wet napkins. And uh, so that, it, was pretty, it was pretty weird coming home when this movie had been such a big hit. And that's the first, the first real taste of that. I mean, I, I never had a problem like Elvis did or somebody like that, you know, where you, could, you just couldn't live your own life. Um, it was just right. It was enough to where I could always get a seat in a restaurant, even if it was booked, you know, and uh, always get front row of the concerts and backstage to hang out and jam with the bands and that kind of thing. I moved to New York in 77, moved to L.A. in 78, and moved back home for a couple of years at the end of the 80s, um, then back in L.A. for the most of the 90s. I moved home to raise my family, which I didn't start until the 2000s. So I didn't want to raise a family in, in uh, Los Angeles, so uh, moved back home to do that and to look after my mom and dad, who are getting up in years and need help from time to time. But uh, I kept coming back to Knoxville. You know, I kept, um, I was back here for every football game. I had it in my, my uh, contract of most movies that I had to be released in time to make the last red eye out on a Friday night to wherever the Vols were playing on Saturday. So, uh, as I've said many times, it's Tennessee football is too important to enjoy. I'm in my nesting phase. It took a long time to get here. But I'm telling you, as much fun as I had in the 80s, running around and acting crazy, Watching my kids is do the things they do and achieve the things they do is the most fun I have ever had, selfishly. I'm not saying, oh, it's great for them. I'm saying for me. And for somebody who's been way up on the fun Richter scale for 30 years, that's saying something. This is just where, I don't know, it's home. There's, there's, and there's so much more to that than just where you grew up and the church you went to and you know there's there's uh, there's those football games there's Yale Steakhouse there's all the routines of the weekends that I came back but I remember telling my dad once when I it was hot in LA and I'd flown overnight to come home and no I think I got in at night I must have gotten in on a Friday night but I'd come from LA where it was very warm and it was crisp fall evening and just that smell of, of Knoxville at night. I don't even know if it's, it's here anymore because I'm here all the time. But coming from LA back to Knoxville and I'd, we'd, I'd roll the window down in the car heading back to our house and just smell that, you know, what the good old Knoxville countryside smells like at night. I, and uh, that's, that's the feeling that you can apply. The way I felt about that smell is the feeling you can apply about everything because Knoxville is my home.